I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Wibble Wobble. Another Daniel Linson game. It's actually a game jam game for, uh, it was called Devs vs. Gamers. Like, uh, the goal was that you had to have a high score, and the dev would, I guess, compete against some, uh, famous YouTubers. So, let's just jump right into it. It's got some little achievements, which is, uh, in addition to a high score. Parker! Parker! I can't pause this game. Move. Yeah, that's right. So, the boop. The ah. The gimmick is the uh, world just sort of wibble wobbles, and if it goes below that red line down there, it turns into lava. And anything with those red lines, like this sort of spike-looking deal, will kill you instantly. And that that thing just sort of chases you if you don't move fast enough in in a direction. You can move left or right. Uh, that doesn't seem to really matter. But, uh-oh. I think those thingers, those up uh, Crap. Um, these things are like every, placed every 100 units. Also, a neat thing, when you die from the lava, let's just show that off here. You like spray blood, but only while the lava is touching you. Kind of neat. Uh, it's a fairly simple game. You've seen pretty much most of what there is, aside from, you know, just going to survive. But, um, I just really love the visual stuff. Um, Daniel Linson always has really good pixel art stuff, and usually a pretty cool gimmick to go with it. So he has lots of really cool small games on Itch.io. You can check them out in the woo. Um, link in the description, of course, as always. Like the sort of spooky otherworldly music. Ah, okay, let's. I've actually never gotten caught. I've only played this a few times. Uh, never gotten caught by the one dude. I'm. It seems like it expands as it gets close to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't just put the whole world underwater or under lava or whatever the. F ah. Well, that was a pretty decent run. Um, it awards you medals if you complete certain tasks. I was hoping to get some medals, but uh, I already played this a little bit, and I got a fairly decent run, so I think that might have prevented me from getting... Ah! From easily getting any uh, medals from just a quick run. And you do sort of a little flip and stay airborne slightly longer if you hit a multiplier. I just really love the aesthetic of this. And it's a pretty fun little twist on, I guess it's sort of an endless runner type thing. Sort of. Though, you know, you can actually stop, which I guess usually you can't do in endless runners. Obviously, as a game jam game, I mean, you wouldn't expect too much in terms of graphics or major gameplay variety, but uh, I think it does its job pretty aww. Well, I love seeing the, the just wobble and bleed. It's like... Pretty neat effect for a little game jam game. Um, I guess that's pretty much all there is to show. Um, I'll go for one more run and... If I don't get any medals, I'll just show you the medals I've already gotten. I'm just... Pretty tricky due to the... Th things like that. So we got 100 stars in total. Let's take a peek at those medals. It's so like there's one for traveling. So many meters. How long you survived. Multiplier, score... How many stars have you gotten? I guess somebody's expected you to play quite a lot. Shark warning. Actually, let me die from that thing that chases you. I wonder if that is worth a medal. Because, like, those shark attack things, I don't... I don't know what else would... I just love this terrain deformation thing that's going on. Uh-oh. Don't lava me. I want to die from that. Excellent. That's all it does? 
Huh. I expected it to be a bit more malicious. Whatever. But yeah, this is Wibble Wobble. I love that name too. And it's just, just so descriptive and accurate. And yeah, if you want to play it and see if you can beat my high score, which is probably nothing to brag about. How do I even see my... Oh yeah, you can log into Game Jolt. That's what that initial screen was. You can log into Game Jolt and submit your high score. Um, I scored over 300,000. I'm not sure exactly what my score high score is then. I guess it doesn't show you leaderboards without Game Jolt. Which uh, I didn't really... Oh, my... <laughs> Duh. My high score is at the top there. Just barely over 30,000. So if you want to beat that score, it's probably not all that hard. Be my guest. I guess let's do one more run. Not like I live very long anyway. I've not succeeded in living over a minute, so that tells you how short runs are. Though if you sort of slow down... Oh crap, oh crap. If you slow down, you could probably try to farm ah that was kind of hard to slow down because everything's trying to kill you but that might make it a bit easier to get those specific metals All right, I keep saying one more this will be the last one two spikes how tricky see I think we are in some sort of like graveyard or like there's little crosses but sometimes just fences, like, I don't know where we are. And obviously these multipliers are main. You're, you just constantly get score as you survive, but um, if you stay in one place, that one thing will kill you. It's a f oh. So the score multipliers are as pretty much always as the case in any game with a score multiplier. That's your main way of getting points. Alright, that's pretty much all there is to show, but... Yeah, that is Wibble Wobble.